So cheeky little update, it's Tuesday. We've managed to source a fridge. We've had problems with that because the door sensor wasn't working on it. So we've had to resolve that. We've managed to pick up a car. We've also managed to get the man but a van, but he's not happy with it because there's loads wrong with it. So we've had to drop that back and get that refunded. So now we're back to the drawing board on a van. Because we have no van, we haven't been able to pick up a load of stuff that we'd sort of bought second hand, if you like, just to be able to go and pick those up. We've now had to cancel all of that. So current situation, we're still sat in an empty house other than a fridge. He's put a bit of WD-40 on the door sensor. So I'm hoping that's, <clears throat> I'm hoping that's literally all it's gonna take to get that sorted. We've managed to paint in the living room, well, half paint it. Um, yeah, we've we spent four days. We feel like we haven't stopped in four days, but we don't feel like we're getting anywhere. <laughs> so yeah, basically the man that's coming back now after returning his van, we need to go to screw fix and go and get some bits and pieces so we can plumb the fridge in. Oh, here he is. All right, all sorted? Yes. So we're gonna go head to screw fix now and get some bits to plumb the fridge in. Yes, I've got a funny feeling and there's one closer to here than having to go all the way down. Well, that's what I was hoping there. for, but I wanted a den elm because we need a blind for the living room as well because currently got a sheet hiding the window, haven't we? So you have a look for me on there. Yeah, uh, a whole day of just decorating and trying to sort things out and you've now got to look for a new van, don't you, babe? Can't make it up, can you? No. It, yeah, it, just, it feels like we're banging our head at every turn at the minute. We don't really know what's going on. To be fair, why. he's had a look at it. <clears throat> he accepts that. Well, if it's not if it's not right, you send it back, isn't it? And this is what we've learned after our travelling, being on, on the road to the motorhome. If there's something wrong with it, while well, you can, you take it back. So the day has come, and Black Horse's independent inspector is currently checking out the van. He can see straight away the problems in there and the cross members coming through and the floor they're sinking. So he's just taking his photos and inspecting it and I don't think we'll hear back from him. I'm assuming he reports direct to Black Horse and then we will hear back from them as to what's going to happen. So the inspector has just left, didn't uh, spend a great deal of time looking at it to be honest with you. He got down, he could feel it, he said he could see it says like the floor's being compressed down in between obviously where the cross members are. He says you can obviously see and feel where the cross members are as well. Couldn't obviously give me too much because he's got to go to Black Horse and report it to them, um, which he said he'll do his report tonight now and get that sent off to him. So I guess we'll just have to wait and hear back from them now and see where we go from there. So happy that the inspection's finally been done. And now we're going to go and hit the road and have some fun. It's been one manic week with everything going on in the house, so we figured, why not go and have a couple of days chilling? Yeah, we're going up West Wales, aren't we? Yeah, and, you know, we've been sat on camping chairs all week, so I'm looking forward to being <laughs> yeah. able to lie down on some grass. <laughs> <laughs> or a comfy sofa. Or a comfy sofa, yeah. <laughs> we're not going to get We've had a busy week, though. We have. We've done really well. We've painted all the living room. We've done painting in... Well, painting everywhere, haven't we? Yeah, I've done a bit in the hallway, the conservatory, the living room has had a full makeover. All we've got left in there to do now is sand the floor, paint the woodwork. And get some sofas. And some feature walls on that back stove wall. And we need some sofas. And some sofas. Okay, yeah. Should we hit the road then, boat? Yeah, come on then, hit the road, Jack. Let's go. <laughs> and Sheila's chapter bits, look, she's getting out of uh, motorhome prison. She hates motorhome prison. <laughs> to be fair, she's only been there for about four days. Man but literally drew the short straw and uh, ended up going in the shops for food. Yeah. I absolutely hate it. I hate going shopping. So yeah, I'm well landed, he's gone. And the kids are sat here stuffing their faces, so I've just managed to whack together some sandwiches and some fruit whilst we're sat in the car park waiting for him. And I know he's going around that shop cursing me because he had to go in. <laughs> Oh, it's Aldi too. You know, we need the pound for the trolley. And the last couple of times I've gone in there, I keep forgetting the pounds. So then I end up filling up the basket far too much and then struggling with these bags on the way out through the car park. And of course, you've got to put a brave face on because you know everyone's looking at you as if to say, you absolute idiot. And I'm like, it won't beat me. These bags will not beat me. 
So um, I wonder if he's done the same thing. We'll have to keep an eye out whether he's got managed to get a trolley or a tro- or a, a basket. No way, Amy's got the blinking trolley, haven't he? So yeah, after this, we're going to go onto a campsite in Carmarthen. We're just doing it for one night because it's a, it's kind of like halfway between the house and kind of where we want to end up. So it's quite late now. It's about six o'clock. Well, it's not that late, but it's late for us. We usually like to arrive by about two, three o'clock in the afternoon, get settled, that kind of thing. But yeah, when we get there tonight, it's just going to be a case of putting our feet up, a quick glass of wine and bed, I think, because we're absolutely shattered. This week, we just haven't stopped. <laughs> Yeah, he had the trolley. He had the trolley. So we've arrived. We're on um, a camping caravan club site in Carmarthen. They didn't have any room for us, I don't think, down the main bit. So they've put us in on this pitch here, but it was like really uneven. So we've come round and we've put ourselves by there. So it's quite nice, it's picturesque. The kids are here, able to play on their skateboards. They've got this bit of grassed area they can mess about on. I'm about to put the dinner on. It's quite late, it's about 20 to eight. So I'm gonna chuck a cottage pie and chips on, something nice and easy, have a glass of wine and settle down for the night. Good morning, so we've woken up had some breakfast we've just left that little spot we were on for last night it was really peaceful managed to get a really good night's sleep we're now heading down towards St David's some lovely subscribers have offered us a weekend down with them so we figured why not we're really excited for this weekend it'd be really lovely um, the kids will have some other children to play with hopefully they all get on and then <laughs> and the parents can have a good laugh as well so thanks for the invite and true welsh style we've planned a barbecue and the weather's looking a bit grim we've had a bit of rain this morning already so fingers crossed it'll clear up a little bit and we can uh, get out and enjoy ourselves isn't it yeah i'll put the awning out to figure out yeah 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 that's the, that's the beauty of it isn't it we've got loads of meat on board so yeah we'll uh, show you around when we get there so rubbish weather aside, it is spitting a little bit of rain here and there. The views in Wales are absolutely stunning. So this is where we're staying tomorrow night. Yeah, we're coming back back to you tomorrow night. We're staying on this campsite just here on the right. Yeah, it's just literally there. Love it. That's pretty, yeah. Let's hope that it's not raining tomorrow when we come here for the yeah. night. So we've arrived. It's a private bit of land, uh, West Wales, and it's absolutely beautiful. We've been allowed to just park up here. What I love about this is we are literally in the middle of nowhere. Look at that lake. How lush is this? So there's Sheila. Um, our friends Rachel and Matthew um, they're gonna pop down later on as well and the guys are just over there having a chat pretty sure the beers are gonna start flowing soon the Sun is literally trying to make an appearance you can see up there yeah so it looks like we're gonna get our barbecue after all so that'll be really good so I'm just gonna find the kids here they are having a go on their iPads, they've got an hour, and they are powered up to the EcoFlow. I'll let the man but tell you about the EcoFlow and why it's so awesome. It's amazing. It is amazing. The kids like to rinse power, as you all know, and he can tell you why he thinks it's so good. So this is the EcoFlow River Pro, and we have to say today, this is actually our most favorite power station that we've had and been able to try and test for so many different reasons. So EcoFlow are a market leader in portable renewable energy sources. We can charge it three different ways. On the side here are the different charging ports. So we've got the AC adapter, and then we've got another 12 volt adapter here that we use for both 
12 volt cigarette lighter so when we're driving we're able to charge this and also then the solar panel there are 10 separate power sources on here so you've got a usb type c you've got two normal usb type a's and then you've also got a type a fast charger you've got the 12 volt cigarette lighter just by here and then the two 12 volt connections here and then you've got your two 230 ac sockets here as well the river pro is a 600 watt model but it has the x boost technology on it that upscales the 600 watts to 1200 watts so for us this allows us to run both small and some of our larger appliances on there we have been able to power things like our induction hob our little 12 volt fridge freezer running off it the kids had been able to charge all their ipads and consoles off this we've been able to charge the the macbooks the camera gear so this has been a really good all-round power station for us now one of the main things that we really like about the ecoflow river pro is the charging capability on it so all the other ones that we have tried have taken absolutely hours to fully charge some of them take anything up to about nine hours from zero to 100 percent with the ecoflow and its extreme technology we can actually charge from zero to 80 percent in one hour or to 100 percent in 1.6 hours now this is a massive bonus for us because we do a lot of service stops then we only get that pitch for about three hours that allows us to fully charge this and take this away full whereas the others are only about half full and that is i say for us is just a massive selling point so the ecoflow has a 720 watt hour capacity and it does have this expanding port here where you can add the additional ecoflow battery that will take that capacity up to 1440 watt hours so that's a huge amount of power that's just going to keep on going and when we've got three kids as you can imagine we use a lot of power so the lithium battery on this has about 800 cycles before it goes to 80 percent capacity so it's got a massive lifespan on it so we've also got a 110 watt solar panel that we tried just a couple of weeks back at the hereford show so we'll show you that now so the ecoflow as well only weighs 7.6 kilograms so it's quite a light power station so the other thing the EcoFlow can do is when your batteries are very low on gas and want to keep it for the evening is we can actually use it to connect the van up. So beer, it's only at 35%. It's pulling 134 watts because they've turned the fridge on and it's telling me it's going to go between two and three hours before it runs out. So it saves them a bit of gas and we can charge that again tomorrow when we're on site. So a massive shout out to this week's sponsor, EcoFlow. We truly believe it is a fantastic product. It's one of the things we simply just wouldn't be without and go away with. So if you are interested, we'll put the product link in the description below. If you've got any questions, guys, honestly, give us a shout. We truly think this is the best power station we have ever used. Good morning. So we've woken up in this beautiful spot. We stayed here last night. So, so peaceful. This place has got um, tree swings, tree houses, pond, a little river. The kids have had an absolute blast. Just what a lovely, peaceful evening. We had a fire go in till about 10. Everybody was able to sit around and have a chat and it was just lovely. So we're leaving here now. We're heading down to Newgale Beach for the evening. It's somewhere that we've always wanted to go and fancied it, but we've never actually gone because we've always sort of ended up driving through. So we thought, why not? We'll, we'll make the most of it this weekend. We'll go see it. The kids haven't seen a beach in forever. And uh, the weather is dry. It's not particularly warm. It's not particularly cold, but at least there's no rain. So I figured, well, we can have a nice beach walk, do a little bit of editing, get this video out ready for you on Sunday. And yeah, have another chilled night before we head back to the house and uh, carry on with the decoration works that we started early this week. So we've just pulled into reception and you can hire a, a fire pit which is basically an old drum from a washing machine for a fiver and get a bag of uh, wood for six pound so I think that's pretty cool. Well we're already bumping of smoke from last night's fire pit so 
I think for a fiver, I might just get one. Really? Bit of firewood, yeah, why not, innit? You normally say no. Yeah, well. It's a treat. It's a treat. <laughs> The boy's been dying to get on his skateboard, bless him. It's the first bit of flat land we've seen all weekend. Look at them views. So the man but's actually got us a fire pit for this evening. I'm well excited. They've got um, fire lighters, logs, Hi. the fire pit itself, and the traps just taking it over to our campsite as well, or our pitch. So when we get back, we're gonna have a fire pit. Well, not right now, but obviously later. Um, it's well cool. So we're heading down here. There's a shop just around this corner. We're heading down to see if we can find ourselves some chairs because currently our chairs are back in the house being used as a sofa. So we need something quick and lightweight just to plonk outside. Uh, we're gonna get the awning out as well. It's all very exciting. Um, but yeah, look, the sun has come out for us. The kids are getting out for go on their stuff. <laughs> Alright family? She's loving that. <laughs> I think they've got everything in here that you could want, yeah, but I don't see... Kids. Boogie boards. I told you we should have bought that this go. weekend. An adult daddy boogie board. Daddy uh, board do 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 Only daddy 57 board, 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 board. <laughs> Yeah, you can swim. <laughs> fit, they are um, the big proper ones, so. But yeah, we're well, looking for chairs, chairs, not boogie boards. Chairs. No chairs, but they've all come out. Ice cream. With ice cream. Ice cream. These are good. I'm a... <laughs> if you can see the man, but there in the distance, he appears to be walking back with something useful. Red chairs. Chairs, baby! It's not even that far away. On the camera, it looks really far. It does, it's doesn't it? It's not far. <laughs> Look at him. He's got his strut on. He's, he's got in. He's scored. He's got what he wanted. <laughs> they look quite big. Yeah, they've got they're good quality ones. They're the Euro hike. Dad. Oh, so they cost us about 50 quid each. But well, they weren't nowhere near that. Dad, look, I got away from my iPad. Nice. Look, we got a fire pit sorted. We got wood. Oh, we got a chair. Boom. Okay, so this is James and Sean. They put us up last night on their land and it was absolutely amazing. We've all arrived down now in Newgale for the evening. We've got Rachel and Matthew. You would have seen them when we went to Folly Farm. And I think the rest of the afternoon, to be honest with you, is going to be a little bit messy we've got the beach the kids want to go down there they're going to get covered in sand and muck as kids do we've even managed to get the kadak out man but to put the awning out looking forward to this hey. Thanks for watching this week. We hope you've enjoyed. It is a little bit different to our usual style, being at home and out and about again. Yes, it's been a long, long week. We needed to come away this weekend, didn't we? We really did. Yeah, it's been brilliant though, haven't it? Yes, but we would also, we did 
say thank you for some super likes last week and we weren't able to figure out who done it. It's quite a new feature on YouTube, but we've had a couple of them. So we would like to thank Tom Downen. Thank you, Tom. J-E-S. Thank you, J-E-S. Uh, Lindsay Palmer. Lindsay, thank you. And Andy Stepto. Thanks, Andy. So thank you guys ever so much. We really do appreciate that. Yeah, we were actually blown away when we saw it, weren't we? Yeah, it's, it said it was something YouTube added a couple of weeks back and has only just been rolled out. So only now we're sort of getting to grips with it. So thank you very, very much. We really appreciate that. Also, thank you very much for watching this week's video. We hope you've enjoyed it. If you obviously have enjoyed it, please hit the like button, the comment button. Sorry, leave us a comment. <laughs> and feel free to hit subscribe. It's free, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> So until next time, <laughs> we'll see you in a bit. <laughs>